Thank you. Isn't that great? As of this week, Sidekicks is the number two box office hit in the nation. Stay tuned for more USA Karate. John Graydon, six degree black belt, five time world champion, United States karate team member, 1990 Hall of Fame instructor of the year. To be your best, you have to learn from the very best. Excellent. Uh, I've been really, really pleased. How sincere the instructors are. They really care about you, and they want you to be the best that you can possibly be. The USA Karate Black Belt Success System. Call now for our $20 trial program and receive a free USA Karate uniform. St. Petersburg, beautiful beaches, nice people, a wonderful city to raise a family. Yes, St. Petersburg is a paradise of safe living. Or is it? Crimes of violent assault, rape, and the abduction of children are increasing every day. Over 600 USA Karate students are making sure this doesn't happen to them. If you're going to exercise, doesn't USA Karate make more sense? In Northeast or the Tyrone area, call now. 341-1000 for USA Karate. USA Karate, fitness with a purpose. At USA Karate, we teach you that in order to be successful, you have to realize obstacles will always arise. However, it's not the obstacles that will stop you on your quest, but it's your lack of commitment. It's always the lack of commitment to overcome those obstacles that separates the winners from the losers or just from the mediocre. Chuck Norris is the embodiment of that principle. Here's a guy who grew up on a farm, very impoverished uh, childhood, joined the military, went over to Korea, and enjoyed the Taekwondo training, got involved in the classes over there. When he came back to the States, he started into the tournaments and he won a lot of tournaments and had tremendous success as a martial artist but he also had a family to support so he opened some karate schools. He thought the power of the Chuck Norris name would be all it took. Well after all three schools went bankrupt he was faced with the crossroads in his life. He had a big name but he was also facing bankruptcy and tremendous challenges, tremendous personal challenges. However USA Karate also teaches that we always try to turn a negative into a positive. So he sought out the people in his life that he thought to be influential and good advisors. And one of his private lessons at the time, one of his private students was a gentleman, we all know, is Mr. Steve McQueen. And he suggested to Chuck that he should pursue acting. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's just a matter of having the determination and the persistence and the drive to do it. If you do, and you really believe you can do it, you've got to have that belief. But if you believe you can do it, there's very few things you can't accomplish in life. And I'm a prime example of that. International action star Chuck Norris is the longtime hero of audiences everywhere. And in his latest film, Sidekicks, from Vision International, Chuck Norris again plays the hero who saves the day. But this time, it's in a teenage boy's dream. So where's your friend Chucky now, retard? Thanks, Barry. Thanks for helping me out again. That's all right, Chuck. That's what sidekicks are for. Uh, growing up as a, as a kid, I was quiet, shy, and very introverted. Uh, a lot like the boy in this movie. I dreamed a lot, fantasized a lot as a kid. When I went to a school in Arizona, and there's this one kid who was bigger than me that chased me home every day from school. Running from your fear, is more painful than facing it, which was true. Anyway, I wound up fighting the kid, and I wound up winning, and we became friends after that. Until I got into the martial arts, did my whole philosophy about life change. I, as a young, you know, a young teenage boy growing up and so forth, I, uh, I had, I was basically failure oriented. I mean, my thoughts was, I can't do this, I can't do that. And then when I got into the martial arts and the philosophy 
more than the physical training, it was the philosophy that was uh, projected to you that really helped me change my life. I give a lot of speeches to kids to let them know where I came from. You know, a, a kid who was uh, non-athletic and becomes a world karate champion. A kid who was extremely shy and now I'm putting it all on the screen. Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. Yeah. John Wayne was a hero to me. And so I, I really clung on to him like Barry clings on to me in the movie. Why don't you and I go win this thing, huh? My movies are good versus evil. And I don't think that has a detrimental effect on the youth of America because they have someone to cheer for. You know, Chuck Norris has carefully cultivated his image, and rightfully so, so, as being the good guy, a hero to the masses. And I tell you, in true life, there are few Americans that have contributed as much as Chuck Norris. However, that wasn't always the case. He owes his launch in martial arts films and the film world in general to the incomparable Bruce Lee. And in Bruce Lee's early films, Chuck Norris was a guest villain in the movie Return of the Dragon. Now, of course, since Bruce was the good guy, there simply was no room for another good guy. So Chuck Norris had to play the bad guy. Say that all that Chuck Norris has accomplished was paved, that road was paved with the outstanding international success of Bruce Lee. And appropriately, here we are 20 years later, a wonderful, very powerful, very compelling film, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story, is breaking box office.